What's going on everybody? I'm DJ Sound with Astralis Star 6 and in today's video we're going over Mr. Blockamov hashtag you ain't gonna make it through me. Locked up, won't let them out. We going over Castle. So in this video I'm gonna be breaking down his loadout, how to use him, a couple strats to use with him here and there, and then as usual if you stick around to the end of the video you're going to be able to see in-game examples of me using Castle. So you know, I'm not really, I don't talk about it, you know, without showing y'all examples of them being used, every operator I do. So at the end of the video, I'm gonna showcase them and tell you or show you why everybody that said the UMP 45 is garbage, why they might not be right. And also if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the Astralis R6 channel. It will greatly help us out. But that's enough of me rambling for the intro. Let's get straight into the guide. All right, so you know, every video I do, I'm going over the drip that's what i'm doing look at this man castle look hey my gridlock video that i made i know we was kind of hit with the outfit we was looking kind of bad but we back with this one just straight militant with the black ice on the ump2 it don't get no better than this so what i use on castle is i just mentioned it the ump45 y'all know i've said it many times before i'm mr i can't see mr where is he so i got the 1.5 on the ump Flash Hider is the king in Siege, as I've said many times before, and it depends on if you want to run an angle grip or vertical grip. I can't control recoil, so vertical grip it is for me, but if you're somebody that can control recoil and is more aggressive and you could be ready for fights, the recoil is still is pretty much manageable compared to other guns than when you slap an angle grip on it, so this one I would actually recommend even if you can't control recoil try slapping it on and see how you do with it but me i run a, a vertical grip now you see the black ice with the ice cat charm look at that ice style it don't get better than that now for the shotgun he has thermite shotgun now i don't see why you would run this here maybe there's stress with the shotgun that i really don't know about but for the most part since he has the super shorty too the super shorty what am i talking about the super shorty since he has that too, there's no need to run a shotgun to make rotates and stuff like that. Because he has a secondary shotgun that could do so. So, while we on subject, I put a red dot on it. This, this skin is kind of eh, you know, give me a pass for this one. So, that's what I run on the Super Shorty. I don't really use this pistol at any time. Because, for the most part, you're going to need some type of operator to run, make rotates and stuff like that. Or, if you're running a capsule strike and you have your own thing that you're doing. You gonna have to make holes in the wall pretty much yourself while a smoke or a mute or anybody else with a shotgun makes the standard rotates because that's gonna take way it's gonna take a lot of time for you to do all those rotates for yourself so don't put that pressure on yourself run your shotgun to do with your strats and later on in the video when i go over a couple strats you might want to take some of these and try them out of rank who knows so pack the super shorty do that now this for his gadget it depends on how you play stuff if you're somebody that needs more of like an audible queue and especially if you're solo queue to where people are pushing from you definitely going to run a proximity alarm that's just me but if i'm playing in a stack some of my castle strats like the one on coastline it is way better if you have a bulletproof camera like in places like aqua so you can see if somebody pushes aqua or luggage so those scenarios like that are pretty much why i run a bulletproof camera so either these gadgets are good it just depends on how you want to play things or how teams are pushing pretty much just situational awareness stuff like that so that's my loadout for castle that's pretty much it quick straight to the point now i'm going to get into what he's best used for how to use them all that jazz but before we do that we're going to get into today's video sponsor today's video is brought to you by root insurance with root insurance you can get a rate primarily based on how you drive good drivers can save up to 900 dollars a year with Root. So be sure to download the Root app today and see how much you could be saving with Root and you could save hundreds, so be sure to get it. And also be sure to grab the Disrupt Gaming skin from the store. It's not going to be there much longer, as many of you know by now, Astralis has acquired Disrupt Gaming. So if you want this rare skin, be sure to grab it while you can, because it's going to be gone soon. The skins are available for the R4C or the L8, so go ahead and snatch those up before they disappear. But with that being said, let's get back to the video. So in instances that I would bring Castle is pretty much if you need to hold one area of the map or slow people down from getting into sight. What I mean by that is, say for areas like theme park, right? If you go and control the other side of initiation when your team is holding the bunk area, 
it's going to be either one impossible depending on how you hold that for the team to push it two you're going to be able to at least slow them down if they have to push past you and if you get picked that's no big deal you wasted time and now they have to scramble if you did it correctly by the way they have to scramble they have like maybe 45 to a minute left to do something so then the rest of your team is alive hopefully and you slowed them down and you did your job so those are instances that i'll bring castle if a team is just rushing everything down you might want to hold the area with castle and a lesion or something like that some type of trap operator capkin just got a rework so maybe you bring him along and you pop hold that thing down you know what i'm saying that's what you do so the maps i will bring him on that he's pretty much good on these will be maps like coastline theme park cafe and consulate just to just to name four so that's pretty much a short how to use him and when i would bring him now i'm gonna show y'all a couple strats that y'all can use in order to get the edge in a ranked game so we're gonna go ahead and head into that now all right so the first strat that i'm gonna show off that i know of is on consulate so this is when you're holding the upstairs area uh for the most part i will put a bulletproof camera usually this is just what i do on the wall here they can see it from the window and they can be able to shoot it but at the same time you're going to be able to see if somebody repels in either see or hear and you can see through the smoke if they smoke it out so that's something i would use a spot that i would use for the bulletproof camera but as for the castles what i do here is a lot of people like to repel in bathroom too so usually what we do when i'm playing me and my friends we'll shotgun out here make footholds and then castle off the bathroom door so even if they jump in there the person that's in connector is going to be able to see them hopefully nobody's repelling on this window they'll be able to see them when they hop in and shoot their feet so that's one thing you can use as usual you got the standard rotate that you put into connector a lot of people some depending on how rank you're in right what rank you're in a lot of people do not put these rotates here this is pretty much the first thing you should be doing when you start to make a round or when you when you start a round is always make your rotates so another thing that people do wrong here is they will reinforce this whole wall if you reinforce this whole wall you're not going to have a way to contest somebody from long deaths unless you swing out of connector and that exposes you to too many angles this angle here from the window somebody holding this angle on this window and if this wasn't castled off it would expose you here but your back is turned to three angles if you want to count yellow stairs so this is another rotate that you would put onto long deaths right so he's getting four castle barricades so he's going to have another one in addition to the three i'm going to put down but for now until he gets his buff this is the strat i want to run i castle off spiral and then i castle off this area here as well you can either do printer and reinforce this wall or i'm gonna tear it down and i'm gonna show y'all what y'all could do with a fourth castle barricade you could castle this printer door and then when he gets his fourth one you could also castle off admin now y'all probably are confused y'all like wait this is gonna give him the admin control but you can make a rotate into here voltable or you could just walk through it it depends on you know however you want to do it this is usually what i do when i'm on castle and then since all your reinforcements are used you could have holes here so that you can contest the windows from admin maybe if you bring a jaeger and a wamai and you just hold this area by yourself like this is pretty much your, what what castle would be doing over here so castle barricade on admin on printer door spiral and the other one on bathroom and then you should be set so this is something y'all should y'all could be able to try out it usually works for me when i hold it this way but yeah i'm going to move on to coastline now so i explained earlier that this map is the one that requires the bulletproof camera so i'm going to show you what my setup is on this map so as usual the default rotates you got one on top cool vibes 
if you don't know the call, you know, got the sign right there on the top of the stairs. Usually this is not how I put it, but I put it like closer to the right side. But you have a rotate here, and you also have a rotate going into billiards. Now, with my castles. Usually I put the castle or the bulletproof camera right here. I said the castle, I'm messing up today. And I shotgun this hatch out so they can't go to the camera and melee it. They could shoot it from the side, but for the most part, they can't just go up, hit it, and then I can't see what's going on over here. So that's pretty much what I do with that. So you have intel from Aqua and luggage if they were to push this. And you can castle off this double door here now what a lot of people do this might be a little advanced for y'all i don't know if it is or not but they started to do putting holes on the default plant spot because a lot of people if they were to put push through aqua and get the castle barricade and all that stuff they will plant where they have cover behind the bomb so they put holes here to stop that reinforce this side of the wall this might be like a little bit more uh more teachy than my other videos but you know we we good and then I'll make a rotate here in this wall here. This is going to be a quick one, honestly. So you have to rotate here so you can swing out or you can have control here. If somebody's on aqua door or here, it just limits like, you know, what they can put because they'll have to, they'll have to melee this castle barricade or Zofia or sledge it or whatever in order to just run through here where they have cover and get a plant down now if they were to push through here the person that's playing hookah can see them somebody that's playing a bar can see them like they they expose themselves to angles that are not pretty much safe when they push in here but that's just usually how i think of it now the other castle barricades i tried this out right for the most part i kind of like giving them penthouse control low key but if you don't want to do that you can castle off this, the bathroom area, and then make footholds in the bathroom uh, bathroom wall. So if they were to drop here and you're in VIP, because usually that's the word, I mean, me personally, I would just like to play. And you're in VIP, you can see, and you can shoot their feet if they drop. So this should be reinforced too, if you're holding this in here. VIP should never be soft or you shouldn't be holding areas that's soft like this like to outside the outside walls Because then they can just shoot you or sledge can hit it and get in here quickly You might not be paying attention and he can kill you, but that's a that's an easy strat for the most part For the last castle. I usually like to barricade this double door here. I don't know if y'all knew that y'all could do that And that's pretty much it so I hold VIP my team usually holds billiards and this pretty much works for the most part so there's one more strat i could do but it doesn't really involve like a quote unquote setup you can if you want to but i'm going to show you all this now so the one i'm going to pretty much explain and doesn't require a setup is the one that i usually do when i'm on chalet and you're holding the upstairs bedroom site so usually a lot of people like to push through library and what i like to do is i'll castle off the library door like to the upper balcony i will castle that off and it depends on how i'm feeling that day but i will put a castle on the other library door too so they'll have to break both of them and i would just hold the hallway area so when they break the castles i know that there's somebody there or i'm playing right there and i have a camera in there sometimes i'll know if they push that area by sound cues or my team on the on the camera or anything like that so for the in-game example i'm going to show y'all what i did for this one it doesn't really require much setup and i'm going to show you why the ump is actually a pretty dope gun to use so i'm gonna let the footage play and i'm gonna get to y'all when the round is over it's quick so if you blink you're gonna miss it
all right so that's pretty much it for me for this video hopefully y'all learned a setup or two that y'all can take in the rank to try out and it works out for y'all like i said earlier council's getting that minor buff which is he's gonna have four armor panels and the amount of times you have to melee it is decreased from 12 down to nine so they're gonna be able to melee it faster but there's gonna be one more castle barricade they're gonna have to get through so me personally i like this change let me know what y'all think about it in the comments down below as well and while you're at it if you enjoyed the video and you learned something be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the Charles Sarsix channel it will really help us out and also go ahead and head over to the channel and see what else we got for you to get you better head over to the channel do some homework see what we got for y'all astralis as usual appreciate y'all for having me and i will catch y'all next time good luck on the game y'all peace